Austria against Denmark. I'm Peter Drury, and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Beckham. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. As you can see, we've already started here. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Christian Eriksen. He's super accurate with both feet, Peter, and able to deliver a cross or a through ball with just the perfect bend or, indeed, weight. All this allied to great awareness and vision, which make him a massive creative talent. What I really like about Ericsson, though, is that he's got the energy and the determination to keep going for 90 minutes every game. He's a trier. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. Schoener. Goes wide. Durmisi goes for the cross. Dragovic. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. Going for goal! Ericsson. Dormisi. Ericsson. Looking to shoot! Great save, that was not easy. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. Milosevic. And it's Alaba. So what now? Christensen goes looking. Jorgensen. Milosevic. Arnautovic. Yunusovic tries a through ball. Can he put it away? And he's there to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Smart save. And the finish! A decent effort as the first half draws to a close. So a fascinating half, full of talking points, not least that last very, very late one. The midway point of the game. Austria ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Austria clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Burgstaller spreads it towards the left. Burgstaller needed to come up with a better ball. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Burgstaller! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. It so nearly came off for him, but that's the motivation and enthusiasm he shows and the quality he produces. Big chance! The assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Look, I know our vantage point is, is very different, but he looked on. Prudel. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. 
it's a loose ball. He's left his man, a chance to play it in. Denmark showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Done very well to intervene. Austria merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Arnautovic pings it out wide. Over it comes. Gets up to head it! He couldn't get the direction he needed. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Denmark, look as though they're about to make a change. Denmark opting to make a double change here. Just brushed off the ball there. Vestigan. Pass. Great run on the overlap here. Vass. Referee has seen that as a dive. Well, that's just very cynical. For him to think he could get away with it is, uh, is ugly on his part. And that's that. A uh, frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Austria certainly 